Let's see how the opener Bulk Create makes it 10 times easier to create images with AI. The Bulk Create panel is located right here. There's a separate tab for bulk creations where you can view each job as a whole. This example is only four images, it's not really a bulk, but if you click view, it opens up a new pop-up and you can view the images just how you would view them normally. There are two ways to make use of this. The first way is simple. We put in the prompt, we select the model, you can make use of the image guidance too. All the advanced settings are also available. You just want to set them as you wish. The only difference is instead of having this capped at four images, we can now enter a number up to 500. Let's say 12. So we see 12 credits will be charged and let's go. This is now a new job that's scheduled at this time and it's going to be running for a bit, we can schedule a number of jobs and come back later and view the results. So let's schedule another set of generations. For this other job, let's say I wanted black and white. And I'm going to make that 18 images. Oh no! It's been a minute or two, I just came back because I'm actually doing this on testing right now and I just found a quick bug which will be fixed by the time this video comes out so we're all good. So this job in the middle that's the buggy one, let's ignore that. But for the first job we scheduled together, the colorful one, it says 12 out of 12 completed. So if some of the generations failed, you're gonna get refunded of your credits. But now we can click into this and view everything from this job. This is so convenient because each job would have the same theme, especially when you're doing some sort of iterative design. Now you can kind of see a pattern of what results your prompt would get you. So once you capture that pattern, you can start tweaking your prompt and work your way towards getting something near perfect. Now the second job that we scheduled together were 18 flower girl illustrations and they were all black and white and these were the results. Stunning, right? Moving on to the second method, we're gonna need a bit of Microsoft Office or Google Sheets skills. The method we're talking about is this, or upload multiple prompts. Let's download the example. So this is the example. Basically every row is one generation and the text that you put in would just be your prompt for that generation. So when we upload that example, we're going to see the number of images option disabled because the number of images will be determined by how many rows you have. If we try to create with that, this is what we would get. It's the simple for image example. To step up our CSV game, here's what I'd like to do. If I select this box and then drag this little dot, I'm going to have four rows of the same thing and we can do the same for all the other prompts. Now I'm going to download this as a CSV. Upload this new one that we just made. Let's just check. Yeah, it should be 16 images because we did four times four. Now the new job is running and let's check in a bit. This job is all done. We have four of each prompt. Now from the results, we can easily work on this doc and schedule another bulk creation job. If you want to know how I create many images of a character doing different things, check out this other video in the D&D series. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I put all useful links under the video in the description. And don't forget to check out OpenArt. Have fun creating.